All right, all right, all right. Good evening. Welcome to Yesterlore. I'm Grimm's Lawyer, and this is the sixth sec uh, session of reading Sir Gawain and the Green Knight in Middle English. Um, we are in Fit 3, um, and there is a chance that we will finish Fit 3. Actually, there's a good chance we'll finish Fit 3. It just depends on how fast we go. This is going to be a shorter uh, session. I can only stay for half an hour this week. Um, next week should be a full session, unless my plans change. It's kind of up in the air, but mostly it seems like we'll have a full session next week, and we'll be in Fit 4 next week for sure. Um, uh, so I'm going to give just a brief recap of where we're at in the story, if you've missed the prior sessions, just to catch you up to speed. Um, but I definitely recommend you go check those out first. And then um, we will continue on. And I'm going to try to go a little bit faster today with just reading the Middle English and sort of scrolling past the Modern English, not really talking about it very much. Um, uh, there might just be a few things I want to point out, um, but I will sort of slowly scroll past the Modern English translation. Um, if that's how you're consuming the poem with me, of course, you can read it in your own time. The link is in the description of all the prior streams in this series. Um, the Sir Gowan and the Green Knight series, but I'm also going to put it in the stream um, chat right now and pin it for as long as it'll stay pinned, um, the link to where we are at. And we are on line 1648, which you can just search replace on this website, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to pin that, and uh, it should be pinned, and I can customize the time. Let's just have it be the whole half hour. There we go. Bam. Cool. Um, okay, so where are we? Um, uh, way back in the beginning, a green knight comes into Arthur's court who wants to play a game. Um, the game is, I use this axe to make a blow, strike a blow at your head, your neck, um, and then you do the same to me in a year. Um, and Gawain is like, okay, I'll do it. Um, and he does it and chops the knight's head off, and then the knight picks up his head and, um, uh, says, meet me in a year and a day in order to fulfill your half of the bargain. So, um, and he tells him to meet him at the Green Chapel on the Green Hill. Then Gowan waits almost an entire year, <laughs> almost the entire year, to go and start his journey of um, trying to find the Green Chapel. And on his adventure, um, when it's almost been a year, it's about to be Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, um, he comes upon the mansion where he currently is now, and the story, um, uh, and the mansion, the castle has a lord, um, apologies for this, um, and uh, the lord's name is Bertilak, I don't think we've gotten the name yet in the poem, but that's his name. Um, it's not really a spoiler, it's just, that's that's the knight's, not the knight, um, that is, our knight is Gowan right now. Um, Green Knight we don't know the name of, but the lord of this castle is Bertilak. Um, or Bertilak, depending on how you choose to read the manuscript, it's kind of like the C and T look similar. I think I've explained this before, if you've seen any of my old English streams uh, where we look at manuscripts, you'll see T and C look pretty similar. Um, and that continues on into the Middle English period for sure. Um, um, so he gets into this castle. There's a, also a lady, um, the Sir Bertilak's wife, and there's an old woman who is given a lot of respect and is um, negatively compared to the beauty of this lady. Um, uh, and uh, in order to stay in this castle, they, they pamper Gowan a ton, um, and they probably would just offer him to stay anyway. But to make things interesting, Sir Bertilak says, okay, here's what's going to happen. You are going to just hang out here for the next three days because we actually know where the Green Chapel is. Uh, it's like not very far from here. So you don't need to keep looking for it. You can just relax until it's the day of your neck hitting. <laughs> so um, you can stay here for the next three days. And each day I, the Lord of the Castle, will go out and hunt. And you will be able to eat have, I will give you whatever my winnings are when I'm out hunting. Meanwhile, anything you win when you're in my castle, you give to me. 
Um, and God's like, okay. Um, so the first day, the Lord goes out, goes hunting. We get lots of detailed hunting description, and um, uh, is successful in hunting, um, and brings back his animal. And while that's happening, Gawain is um, Gawain is um, doing his thing of just staying in his bedroom <laughs> that he's staying in, um, which is a very unmate like thing to do. It's not good to sleep in and be slothful. Um, it's just unmanly to do in this society. Um, so he feels kind of weird about it, but he's doing it. He's just like lying in bed, and the lady of the castle comes in and is like, hey, my husband's gone. Um, no one's going to notice if we have relations. Um, and Gawain says, no, uh, I do not want to have sex with you. I do not want to um, betray the Lord. Uh, that would be a dishonorable thing for me to do. He definitely is into her. There's a mutual attraction there, but he's not going to do it. Um, uh, and so she's like, okay, well, you can at least give me a kiss because, you know, kisses were not bindingly romantic in this um, society. You know, you can just have, like, a kiss of troth. Um, and so that's allowed. And so he gets one kiss from her. And when Sir Bertilak comes back with his hunted game and gives that to Gawain, he's like, hey, what did you get, Gawain? And Gawain gives him a kiss. Um, but he doesn't just give him the kiss. <laughs> he grabs him by the neck, with the back of the neck, and just, like, passionately kisses him, which is interesting. Um, next day, repeat, um, different animal this time, um, it's brought back, but Gawain stays in bed, and then the lady's like, okay, why did you reject me? Like, are you a real knight, even, if you're gonna reject such a beautiful lady? Um, and are you really the famous or Gawain if you're gonna reject me? And Gawain's sticking by his face, he's like, I'm not gonna do this with you. Um, it's not, it's not that I don't like you, it's that it's dishonorable, and I'm not gonna do that. Um, and so she gives him two kisses, and so Bertilak comes back, and Gawain gives him two, Passionate kisses. <laughs> um, now we're on. We're about to be on day three, um, so that's where we left off. Um, so this is actually the night of day two. They're like about to eat. Um, so then, then thy tell it tablis trestes aloft a casting clothen upon clara lechtena, waxen be wohes, waxen torches, seges setan servet in sala to a sala ala bota. Much glam and gleg lent up therinna, a boat of the fear upon flat and on felloise, of a the supper and after many other songs, as condutes of Christmasa and Carolus Newe, with all the mannerly mirth that mon may of tell, and ever o'er a lovely knicht the lady beside, such semblant to that sedje, semli ho sem homade with still stolen countenance that stalwart to pleaser, that all for wondered what the weaker and wrath with himself. But he nolde not for his nurture, nor na her againas, but dalt with her all in dine te, ho se ever the dede turned. Ho se ever the dede turned. To rast, quen that had it ply in hala, as long as her will hom, ha, hom last, to chambre he con him cala, and to the chimney thy past. Okay, so after dinner, they have their Christmas celebration. Everyone has fun, and he's always going, is always sitting by the lady because they like each other, and they like, they're like besties now. Even though they can't have any romantic thing going on, and Gawain's like rejecting that, they can still be besties. Um, and sit next to each other, and that's fine. Um, and so that's what's happening. And then it's like time to go to bed, so he leaves. All right. Under thirthai drunken and dalton and demi deft nue, to norno on the same noto on new years even. But the knicht craved leve to kaira on the morn, for it was nech at the term of the to shoulder. The lord him letted of that to lenge him rested. And side as iam trua segia is sicker me trouthe, so shall sheva to the grena chapel the charres tomaca leude on new yeres licht longa be before a prima. For thee tho lia in thee loft and lach and latch thine eze, 
and he shall hunt in this holten hald, the coaches. Change with the chevisons, besat e chara hither, for he hath freisted the twist, and faithfully findeth he. No thrid teamer thrower best think on the morn. Mark away merry quill we my and minne upon joya, for the lure my mon large, when some mon liggeth. This was gravely granted, and Gawain is languid, blee the brocht wat him drink, and fight o' bed the yeden, with, li with licht. Sir Gawain lees and sleepes, full stille and softer all nicht. The lord that his craft is capers, full early he wat's dicht. Okay, so before Gawain can leave, um, he has to, like, um, sort of, you know, say goodnight to everyone, and he is wanting to leave in the morning. Like early, he, he's like anxious to go, um, but it's not time yet. And the Lord is like, no, we still have New Year's um, to celebrate, and we got one more day of our wager. So th upon that, Gawain is like, okay, fine. So he, then he actually does go to sleep. Like the last stanza was saying that they're that's bedtime. Um, so then, after Mesa a morsel he and his men talk in Mirai, what's the morning? His mor monte he ask us. All the havelis that on horse shoulder. Held in him after. I just realized I was not scrolling slowly past either of these stanzas. I'm going to go back real quick so you can read them. You might want to pause the screen or something. I didn't do what I said I would do. <laughs> there we go. Um, so there's that stanza and then there's this stanza. So, um, so we had Gawain about to leave, and then they stay for nightcap, <laughs> and then he goes to bed, um, as he's been doing pretty much every night. Um, so after mass a morsel, he and his men took. Um, Mira, what's the morning? And his motor, he asks. Um, also had a list that on horse shoulder held him after, were bone busket on hor blancas before the the hala yatas. Hala gatas, I think that's it, yeah. On her blancas on, on their horses. Before the halagatis. Fairly fire what's the fold for the forge clanged. In rede rudede upon a rock rises the sun. And full clary costes the clothes of the welkin. Hunteris unhardeled be a halt side. Rocheris rongen beris for rurda of her hornes. Summa fell in the foot fer the fox bade. Trialis ofta a traitress be throned of her willes, a kenet curis thereof the hunt on him callis, his fellaris fallen him, to that fnasted th full thicker, runnin forth in a rabble in his recht fara, and if fiskis him before thy found in him sonna, and when that thy say him with sicht, thy sewed him fast, wregande him full wetterly, with a wrath noise, and he tranted and torn eyes, for money ten he grew. How will honest and hurricanes be higgis full of them? At the last, we a little ditch, he lepes over a spen. Stellis out full stilly, be a strother la randa. Strother randa, there we go. Um, when half wilt of the water, with willis frother hondas. Then what he went ere he wist. To, to a wala trister. Everyone's amending this to just one to. I think it is maybe a mistake. Um, there three throw at the thridge, threat him at honest al graia. He blenched a rein believer, a rein believer, and stiffly start on stray. With all the worn lever to the world he went away. <laughs> so, um, in the morning, the men go and do another hunt. So we get the beginning of another hunt. And now they're chasing a fox this time. We had two other animals before, but now it's a fox, which is kind of an interesting thing to chase. But they're chasing a fox, and the fox is wily. Um, so he's kind of leading them around um, in circles, kind of. He's just, um, oh, I should go slow. Um, they're having a hard time catching this fox, basically. <laughs> 
Um, like last time, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the hunting scenes. They're just a very vivid, beautiful description. Um, enjoy it at your leisure. <laughs> I would like to make some progress here. So, um, Thenewat hit leaf upon list to live in the hondas. Hit least upon leaf makes more sense. Yeah, everyone's amending it to that, and I was gonna say that's leaf upon list. It's usually least upon leaf. Okay, um, because that makes more sense. <laughs> um, then what hit least upon leaf to live in the hondas when all the mother had him met manged together. Such a sorga at that sicht, thy set on his head. As all the clamber and the clivis had clattered on hepes. Here he was hallowed when Havilis he met him. Lo de he was gained to with garand speech. There he was threatened and of the theft colored, and I the titleres of his at his tile the tari he ne micht. After he was running at when he outbreaked. And oft drelled in a gain, so reniat was wheeler. And ye he laid him, be lagmon the lord, and his many on this manner be the montes will mid over under. Mid over under. Mid over. There we go. Um, will he hend the knit at home wholesomely slippers, within the comely courtiness on the cold morn? But the laddy for loof. Let not to sleep, ne the purpose, purpose to pyre that pit in her heart. But ross her, ross her up radly, raked her feather, in a merry mantle met to the earth, that was furred full fina with felles, well pured. No he was rowed in her head, but the higher stones. Trazi do bo to her tresor be twenty in clusters, her thieven fasse, and her throat to throw an all naked, her breast bare before an behind the eke, ho comes within the chamber door, and closes it hereafter. Wives upon a window, and on the wee callus, radly thus rehighted him with her richer warders with chair, a mon ho mytho sleper. This morning is so clear, he was in dropping deeper, but then he con hear her. Okay, so we are still getting the fox description, and we actually get a name. We get that he was he was uh, Reniard, uh, Renard, and this is a sort of folk of popular folk tale about a fox um, that sort of has like Flemish origins, but spread throughout the Germanic and Romance-speaking worlds. Um, the word for fox in French now is renard, from the name of this character. The word for fox in Latin is um, woodbees. Um, so, or it's wood base. Now I'm doubting my Latin. I think it's. I think it depends on how late the Latin is. But um, anyway, it's renard in French now because of this character. Um, the fox. And so I think that is just being invoked here. Um, the the fox. Um, the fox sort of folktale. They're f following the wily fox. Uh, this doesn't really resemble too much the stories of Renat. It's just like, he's a fox, so we're going to call him Renat. Um, so, um, Reynard. Um, uh, so, that, so we, so we have the hunt and then we again transition back into the castle um and we start this time not from gawain's point of view but from the lady's point of view we get her um like anxious and not sleeping very well because she wants to be with gawain so bad apparently um so she goes um uh basically barely wearing anything <laughs> to um by medieval standards, she's barely, barely wearing anything. You can see her chest, like upper chest, um, and front and back, just bare. Um, and she goes into his room and opens his windows, and is like, it's such a nice morning. Um, but 
um, he's still asleep, but he, when she says that, he can hear her. Uh, but then, he can hear her. Hear her. Her here. Um, okay. In this dropping of dreme dravelit that noble, as mon that was in mourning of money through thochtes. Ho that destiny should thy that should thy die. His weirda. Okay, I agree with the emendation, but it's a weird mistake to make. This this looks like a weird mistake to make. I, um, everyone is saying this should be die deal him, day deal him, like day give him this his fate, his weird, um, which is an old English word um, for like fat fate. Um, his like what is going to happen to him? How destiny should deal him his fate, but this is the thigh die, which doesn't really make any sense. Um, so he's worried about. What's going to happen? He's like, he was deep in dreams, having sort of nightmares about, like, what's going to happen? At the Grena Chapel, when Hethi Gomez met us. And behold, this is Buffett, a bida without the bat of Mora. But when that comely, he cured his witness. Missing a verb here. But when that comely, come, he cured his witness. <laughs> I think it's just they didn't write come twice because yeah, comely come. Um, Swing us out of the swiveness and swear us with hast that laddy lovelich come lachen de sweater. Fella over his fire fast and fitly him kiss it. He welcome us here worthily with a walla chera. He say here so glorious and gaily attired, so faultless of her fictures and of Safina Hewis. With walland joya, warmed his heart, with small the smiling and smolt that smitten into, into mirth, that all was bliss and bonchef that breaker him between and win, that lanced the word is god, much weller than what's therein, great peril between him so stored, neath marrow of her knicht min. Okay, so. He's, so like I said, he was having a stream. He, he's going to be given his weird, his weird, his fate. Um, his, like, what is going to happen, really, is what that means. It's from the verb werdan in Old English, which means to become or to happen, to befall, to occur. Um, so it's like, what will happen? And what sh must happen, usually. Um, although that's that's often shild, but that, that has other connotations. Um, weird is what this is. Um... So then, um, he comes to his senses, he wakes up, and he sees that she's there, and she kisses him, and he's like, okay, cool, my friend is here, we're not gonna do anything, but we're gonna hang out, like we did the last two days. And so they, they talk and chat and have a nice cute little time, um, it says, uh, great peril between him stood, great peril stood between them, um, but, nif, but, Mara of her knicht minna, Mary minded the night. She she was pick, keeping taking care of it. Mary. Remember, Mary is the one he prayed to when he was lost in the woods, and then he prays to her, and then boom, uh, and Jesus, and he and then boom, there's the castle. So Mary seems to be in his corner, and there is Virgin Mary on the inside of his shield. We were told that at the beginning of the story. Um, for that prince of priests, uh. That princes of priests depressed him so thicka, nor did him so nege, that bread that nede him behoved. Other lach, fair here luf. I can't decide if this is supposed to be lach or lach. Or lach. The ch can be weird in Middle English. Usually it's ch um, or sh if it's from a French word, but I'm pretty sure that it's um, lach. It's lach, yeah. Other latch, fair here luf other ludly refuse. He carried for her courtesy lest craven he were, craven he were, um, and more for his mischief if he should mock sinner, and be traitor to that tolka, that that tell the acht. God shield, quoth the shalk, that shall not befall. With luf laughing a licht he lied him beside. All of his speeches of specialty, 
a specialty that sprang of her mouth. Quoth that borde to the born blama ye deserve. If ye luf, not that lif, that ye liwe, the lia next before all the wigis in the world wounded in hurt. But if ye have a lemon, a lever, that yo likes better, and fold in faith, to that fray fastnit so hard, that yo lousen ne list, and that ye leve no other, and that ye tell me that no truly I pray yo, for all the lovis upon leve, line not the sother, for yele, Thick nicht seide, besign John, and smedele, con his miller. In faith he well derricht non, ne non will well de the wheel. So, um, he, we just get more of how he, he's not going to do anything, and he even says, like, God protect us, like, literally, God shield us. God shield us. May God shield um, us. Um, don't let it happen. Don't let us come together. Um, they're kissing. That's happening. Um, they end up kissing three times. Um, but it's not, not gonna happen. Um, so, um, and he says, by chance, John, um, I have not one nor none will have the wow. Um, because the lady says, um, um, do you have any, like, I got lost. Um, oh, where did she ask this? She says, yeah. Blame ye deserve if ye love, not that leave that ye lee next. So she says, is, is the reason because there is, um, is there some other reason, basically? why you're not with me and he says not one there's no no nefarious purpose no second woman but like what she's the one cheating on her husband if anything happens with them so i it's it's very strange um her persistence is a bad element of the story i would say um it's not a fun thing um so that is a word quoth that wicht that worst is of Allah, but I am swarred for soth that saw me thinkes, kiss me no comely, and I shall catch happen. I may but mourn upon molde as my that much loves. Loves. Sikande ho swee don, and semni him kissed, and sidden ho se severes him fro, and sighs as ho standes, no dare at this departing, do me this eze. Yif me somewhat of the gift be glover of hit wera. If it were, that makes a lot more sense. Um, thai im, that I may mena on them on me morning to lassen. No, I wis, quoth that we get. I wolde, I had a hair the levest thing for the loof that I in lon welde. For ye have served for sothly selly, sellily of the more reward be reason than I reche micht. But to dele you for dreary that David but naked. Uh, it is not your honor to have at this team a glove for a garrison of Gawainas giftes, and I am here an errand in Erdes Uncofa, and have no men with no malice with mensquil thinges that misleekes me lada for loof at this team. Team. Sorry, I didn't have a problem with that because there's an old word for time that has an N in it, but it doesn't survive in Middle English, so this is probably time instead of Tyne team. It is told Mondo as he is tantas tonon ille nepine. Nay, hender of his here honors. Quoth that lovesome underlina. Fach i had a ocht of yours, yet should ye have of mine. Okay, so that word is worst of all, she says. She said, That is a word that worst is of all, that is worst of all. Um, and I think the word that she's talking about is, um, I'm looking for the word by St. John, smedley called his In faith, i well derecht non, ne non will wella, 
um, and we'll have the while. Um, Faith. I think faith is the word. The word faith. Like, it's true. I'm being real. There's no other reason. Um, and she's like, you're hurting my feelings here, dude. Um, I'm upset. Yeah. Um, and so he says, um, well, he, he doesn't respond yet. She's like, please do me one favor. Give me something of yours. Um, and he says, um, I wish I could give you something nice, but I didn't bring anything. I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a host of people. I didn't bring um, uh, anything nice, nor any kind of people to help me on this quest. But also, his reasoning is... Um, Wait, it's further up. Both naked. It is not your honor to have at this time. Um, so, he says... He doesn't want to give her anything also because that would be an indictment of her, right? It would it would show, like, why does she have this thing from him? Um, uh, and it would be embarrassing, basically. Um, because knights can get their ladies' favors and vice versa, so it's not that big of a deal. But the, the fact that it, it would just be, like, a little thing, like a glove is what, what they're talking about specifically. She says, even if it's a glove. And he's like, well, if it's a glove, that is kind of unbecoming of a lady such as yourself. Um, and she says, well, I'll give you something of mine then. Um, and then she's going to give him something, but we're going to stop there because I have to leave early, like I said at the beginning of the time here. Um, I'm going to note where we got and um, make sure that that's there. And um, I'm going to have to leave. For tonight but uh, we still have normal time stream tomorrow the stream is from noon to two tomorrow um and it is going to be a conling related stream which is the first time in a while that i've done anything conling related um on this channel um i'm going to be talking about journal conlangs specifically i'm going to be because it's a project stream i'm going to be working on an issue i have had with journal conlangs um not other people's journal conlangs but my own um and figuring out like how conlanging and my journaling can coexist because it's been an evolving and in some ways repetitious and stressful process for me. And I want to work that out on stream because um, uh, I need to anyway, but I want to do it in such a way that I can like explain what my issues are that I'm coming across, what the different sort of axes of problems that are coming up are, and hopefully find a route for a solution. Um, and in so doing, I would like to basically make it a review of, like, different kinds of conlangs, um, that you might remember if you watched the early conling with me sessions from, like, way, 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 way back in, like, um, last February or something, so almost a year from, almost a year ago. Um, I talked about different kinds of conlings in my conling with me series at the beginning. Um, that conling is still kind of being workshopped. I, I haven't abandoned it, but I haven't been working on it because other projects, but um, I'm unlikely to return to it soon in stream, but I am likely to do other conling stuff, like what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, so just sort of reviewing the kinds of conlings and seeing what is and isn't working about the different kinds of conlings and their different features in my journal specifically, but potentially also in yours. You can think about if you are interested in conlings. Um, or just journaling in a different language in general, because I'm going to be talking about some natural languages as well, um, with regards to journaling. And uh, I don't know. I hope it might be interesting. Um, so yeah, noon to two Pacific. Um, that's localized to your time on my channel schedule that you can see on Twitch. Um, but yes, so I'm going to have to say farewell. Um, I hope you have a good rest of whatever time zone it is. We will return to Sir Gowan and the Green Knight next why did I hesitate there? It's always Friday. <laughs> Next Friday. Um, same time, except hopefully a full hour instead of half hour this time. All right. Farewell, everyone, and thank you.